Alright guys, we're back. Uh, we already finished the prologue, and well, I guess I'm just w waiting to pick, so I don't know what's going on right now. Let's continue. Phew. I finished up my hearing test, and after I received my test results, I exit through the broadcasting room at the back of the gym. It was the same deal with me as as with Genki, I haven't really grown since last year. It kind of feels like a major letdown to me, to be honest. Uh, uh, oh no. Uchino class, Juichikara Ketsuki Kansa Hajimirukara, Dashino Minanimo, Stite Oita Hoshin Dakido. Sure, I can do that. Sigh. That seriously made me jump. Though, really, why do I always get so nervous when talking to Himari? Is it what I think it is? The fact that the, she seems like a very different person now than when I used to hang her, uh, out with her way back when? Yeah, that's probably the reason. It's like I have to actively tell myself it's Imari when I'm talking to her or otherwise it's like... I, it feels like she's a girl from a different class. If only she were the Himari I knew. The girl that always get real pouty when she lost that rock paper scissors. The girl that always be either mad or crying one of the two. Then I'd probably be less nervous talking to her. Huh. Oh no, not this guy too. Well, that's natural. We were in different classes last year. Well, a little. When it comes down to it, I'm extremely interested in her. There's no denying it. I do want to get closer to her than just normal classmates, but I'm not interested in her the way Momo means. But really, it's just a self-serving desire on my part. It just feels sad that when that the Himari I knew is such a radically different person now. Like the East, I still probably get to know her to be her friend in that case, but the part of me just doesn't want to accept the fact that she's changed. So she appears too. Okay. Happy. Okay. Hide and seek. That sure seems super random. <laughs> いや。新体測定の最中に野々村さんと意気投合しちゃってさ。ももかな暇な人集めて遊ぼうって話になって。どうもどうも。Well, I'm not about to be the odd one out. I'll make sure to go on with my A game. <laughs> uh, oh no, I'm not gonna laugh like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Little do they know I'm a little <laughs> literal god when it comes to hide and seek. If they had a national tournament for this shit, I would probably be not bad money that I finish in the top in the top spot. 
Hmm? Okay. We'll be there. Yeah, thinking about this too deeply is gonna make my head hurt. I might as well just go in with the mindset of enjoying myself and having a blast with Momo and the others. We never get chances to do like stuff like this, hardly ever. <laughs> So after all the physical examinations were over with, we ate quickly in the cafeteria and then gathered in the courtyard. So Okay, dude, you, you gotta come down. Doing body Genki too. Mm, I wonder why. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's So, Hidensik was Himari's suggestion, huh? So, Hidensik was Himari's suggestion, huh? Well, I'm not going to We have six participants in total. Taking a quick survey around, it's Momo, Genki, Nonomura, Uchizuki, and Himari. And then, counting me, we have six. Oh, rules are simple. Those who aren't it will find a location somewhere within this corridor to hide, and the player who's it will count to 200 before opening their eyes and going to look for them. We didn't really decide on a fixed time limit, but I guess 30 minutes max for one round is reasonable. それはもちろんじゃんけん。じゃんけんパン。と、言いたいところだけど、今日の鬼は私がやるわ。ひまひまが隠れんぼと口にした時は笑いが止まらなかったけど、私鬼には自信があるの。あ、そうだったの？ええ
まだ考え中かなさすがにかくれんぼなんて子供の時以来だし<音楽>もしよかったら2人で同じところに隠れちゃう鬼に見つかりそうになっても私がおとりになってフォローもできるし<笑>それだと望月さんの迷惑になっちゃうから私はなんとか一人で頑張ってみるそうならいいんだけど She must be really confident in her hiding skills if she's spending her time worrying about the Kimari Look, girl, this game is a serious business. If you're over here worrying about others, you'll be the first one out. Same to you. Okay, time to find my place next. Although we all already had eyes set on a pretty sweet place, right? From the moment Nonomura started to count. Already go. I concealed myself perfectly, perfectly at my place inside a large heap of waste that's in the middle of the courtyard. I say. Waste, but it's nothing that gross or nasty, it's just stuff that generally swept up in a pile with a broom, so mainly fallen leaves for the most part. It's really hot and stuffy inside, but plus, there are some weird bugs growing around as well, but I'll have to make do with that. Having, having le uh, perfectly concealed myself in that heap, I say as still as humanly possible and only move slightly to secure myself a gap when I check on Nanamura. From where I am at, I have a structure view of the entire courtyard. Nanamura is also pretty close by, which enables me to spy on her effortlessly. 154, She's getting closer and closer to the magic number 200. Since I'm already, uh, I'm already ready to go, I switch my focus now to checking on all the others. Observations is absolutely quintessential when it comes to hide and seek. Part of what makes it fun is that you can steal tricks and skills from other people that may have a different item than you. Okay, let's start with Himari. What? <laughs> is she planning on hiding right next to Nonomura? Imari is tirelessly carrying over a broken bicycle from one of the edges of the courtyard where it had been left abandoned. She takes the utmost care not to make any, <laughs> any loud sounds and as simple as it is, she starts to put up the bicycle near Nonomura. Afterwards, she merely crouches down behind it and hides there without doing anything fancy, but she's serious. Any experienced hide and seek player will tell you that this can be a very effective tactic when, it, when used against the right type of people. The fundamental idea behind this tactic is the expectation that the seeker holds the preconceived notion that nobody would be stupid enough to hide right near her. The notion will cause the seeker to not focus on areas near her, thus even if Himari does something that would normally give herself away, Nonomura will subconsciously ignore it. She will re register the bicycle first instead of who's ever there, so as silly as it sounds, her brain will automatically write the spot off thinking it's just a bicycle. Another key component is the fact that the bicycle doesn't completely conceal the body, so as long as you don't move, you can blend in and become part of the bicycle, which allows you to monitor the seeker knowing they don't, won't notice you. That is the greatest reward of this tactic. If you hide yourself at the, at the back of the vending machine, for instance, you need to poke out your head whenever you want to check on where the seeker is. 
what's even more amazing is the fact that she's hiding on lit literal 7 meters away from Nonomura and can track her every movement without worry to, of being discovered. Her distance falls slightly out of range of too far but it's still close enough that she registers as too close from the pers perspective of Nonomura. If she, if she stations herself uh, at too far of a distance, the seeker would naturally come over and investigate, but the Himari is hiding behind a bicycle with a wall of the school building to her back. So essentially, Kuhusa, whoever it will think is just a bicycle in front of the school building that's too close so I don't need to bother checking. And once they've scratch out the location of falling into the trap, it just makes Himari nearly impossible to find. Okay, I have a feeling that she already would have counted to 200 right now. Yeah. It's, ex it's a, stri a, strate a strategy that doesn't rely on simple hiding location, but instead plays into the mind of the person seeking. This is a famous technique Himari device back when we used to play this game together that can't see the forest for the tree strategy. Even if you know how it works beforehand, you have a hard time actually finding her when you become it. Damn, she's really in it to win it. She's seriously set on taking home the W. Well, what about the others? <laughs> Think he's taking the simple approach of finding the kind of bench. From the looks of it, he's not concerned about hiding himself completely. Ah, uh, so that's his plan. It's just, it seems that he's planning to play the style of dynamically changing his spot as the game goes on, depending on where Nanomura goes. I can't deny that Nanomura seems like the simple minded type, so I doubt she'll have a perfect awareness of her surroundings as she searches that makes this an effective strategy, too. Okay, how hasn't she already counted to 200? I mean, come on. And Mojizuki, she just op openly sitting on a quarter bench with friends drinking tea. Holy hell. By purposely putting yourself in the plain sight of the seeker in such a blatant fashion, giving contrast to skip their search criteria. In addition, merely chatting away with friends makes for such a perfectly natural situation, so it also functions as a mental camouflage that protects you from the seeker. Incredible. It's a uh, stunt only feasible by those who have mastered the art of blending in with their surroundings. Now I know why she looks so lethal uh, when we when she came up to us invited us. She's godly at hide and seek. Last but not least, Momo. Momo is sticking to the wall. I guess the reptile lover and him comes out even at times like this. Simple can find me and yeah, find it in me to put this dedicated Dedicated way of life now. Oh, about time you almost finished Gambit to Yeah, さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、
Uh, Mori is right next to me, talking to herself. It's already been 10 minutes since she started looking, judging by my observations so far, and I'd say her skill level at seeking is around average. I knew Seek does just seem like a simple walk, <laughs> walk around and search game, but it's actually a battle of wits where both the ingenuity and endurance of the players clash. The way things are looking, I give her a minute or two longer before she throws in the towel. Yes. So I only know where it is down on the bench, furthest from the edge of the courtyard. What's this all about? Got something off her sleeve? Wait, don't tell me. A war of attrition? Is she going for the war of attrition round this early? Apparently having lots of animation to keep the searching ready, Nonomura starts to idly sip on a drink. I can see a look of terror on Himari's face as well behind the bicycle she's hiding at. I can't believe it. If the player who's it goes a decent amount of time without doing anything, the impatient types will naturally get curious about what's going on and poke their hands out. Chidari. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you got played this. Uh, it was about 10 minutes, so, alright. Wait, what the heck? I just noticed. What the heck? There's a guy climbing? Okay, that was really less of a time I noticed that. Yeah, there's some dude climbing the windows. <laughs> I wonder if that's my treasure. Oh no, that's not my character. Foolish child, you can't live through a high scene game without endurance. There was a time in the past when, when I endured through 16 hours of high scene in the park from 8, 8 in the morning until 10 at night. Are you serious, dude? I couldn't allow myself to lose focus and slack off for a moment. That goes for the endurance to stay hidden and con get the constant grasp of uh, the secret's position and also the appreciation of the water. And it was during summer too. Nonomura, you are so much! I was so much fun! This is fake. Fake. I'll go to the place of the place of the place. I'll go to the place of the place of the place. Is that right? If you actively search for them, they'll just change up the lo their locations in, res in response to where you go. Uh, it's rather difficult to maintain a grasp of your surroundings while you're moving around, so in effect, uh, a strategy no more just uses very effective. This is bad. I need to take her more seriously, or I'm done for. It's a damn good thing I was able to discover her true powers. Prowess, sorry. Uh, before she found me. But yeah, at this rate, it's only a matter of time before the other did time. The is still staying hidden behind the bicycle, not moving an inch. She's executing that vital hide and seek skill of endurance. At full throttle. <laughs> I can find some traces of stress and unrest on her face, so I guess she's planning to on, do on this going a lot, lot easier. Momo is still sticking to the wall, but naturally, Nanamura wouldn't imagine if someone is hiding over the head of her. Hmm...一応カウント中に音は聞いてたんだけどな... なんとなく隠れている方角だけは察しがついていたわ。あとは自転車のカゴが何かにぶつかる音と草むらに誰かが入っていくような音が聞こえたんだけど。怖えよ。何遊びにそこまでマジになってんだよ。俺隠れん
I did technically cry without making any sound by heavy, but I guess this means she is still registered that something took place somewhere around her. Now I can count out the possibility that she'll find me in life cake too. The general term bushes is also somewhat associated with leaves, so that'll pretty much be checking for me once she starts to direct her suspicious towards it since I can't move from my hiding spot. But now, I'm sweating my ass off inside here and there's all these beer bugs too. It's literally the worst hiding spot from a sanitary perspective. But no matter what, I'll take action before I allow myself to get found as easily as can be. My secret plan, I'll become one with these leaves and grass. I'm not about to lose this game, no matter what. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop right here. We'll continue the... the hide and seek game on the next video. Thank you for watching.